Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sam. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you've probably heard me say how inflammation is one of the biggest health problems that many of us are dealing with, especially as we get past the age of 35. Now, inflammation is linked to numerous health problems which can affect all your organs, including your brain and health. Inflammation is one of the major causes of aging, both internally and externally, such as wrinkles and hair loss if you care more about your appearance. Also, inflammation is linked to pain in the joints and the muscles, the tendons and ligaments. And the older we get, the more inflamed we become and thus a lot more health problems. Now, below this video, I've listed my favorite ways to deal with inflammation, simple, easy and proven methods. So take a look after you watch this video. However, today's topic is from a subscriber's question that I received and it goes, Dr. Robbins, what would you say is the best drink to lower inflammation? I've heard tea is good, and what about wine? Now, what we drink, similar to what we eat, surely affects inflammatory factors in the body. And for example, there are polyphenols in certain teas and coffee. There are enzymes found in juices such as pineapple juice, and even resveratrol found in wine, all of which claim to help reduce inflammation. But the truth is, each of these beverages will also cause inflammation in other ways, in addition to other health problems such as elevated blood sugar levels and stress hormones, all of which we don't want. However, there's one drink that is guaranteed to help lower inflammation in every person, young and old, and that's water. Yep, water. Remember, your body is made up of mostly water, salt water to be specific, and I'll talk about that more in a minute. Unfortunately, most of us are dehydrated. Um, you know, we don't consume nearly enough water as we should. And if you consume caffeine products, uh, soda, uh, juices, alcohol, tea, and, and coffee, you cause additional dehydration and stress to your body. And if you're going to continue drinking these beverages, that's cool. But at the very least, it needs to be balanced with you consuming even more water. Remember, water benefits your entire body. Water is good for your skin, your muscles, and your joints. Water keeps your organs cleaner and stronger. Water gets rid of toxins, which can cause inflammation. Remember, you die within minutes without oxygen, and you die within a short few days without water, and you die within weeks without food. So water is super important. So much so that when you go to the hospital because you get hurt or whatever, they give you saline drip, which is salt water. In fact, most of the planet is made up of salt water. So again, the goal is for you to just drink a little bit more water every day. All right, create this new habit for yourself. First thing in the morning is ideal to rehydrate and energize your body and all the cells. Um, now, I also add a little bit of salt into my water because it helps get better absorbed and also helps lower anxiety. You know, great first thing in the morning. Um, I also add in a little bit of lemon juice in my water for taste and sometimes I add in stevia to sweeten it if I'm in the mood. Now, I personally try to drink about a gallon a day. And the truth is, I load up a big jug of water and I leave it at my desk to kind of remind me to drink it or else I'll forget. And when doing blood tests, my inflammatory markers such as your CRP, C-reactive protein, mine are extremely low. And I know drinking this much water is a big part of it. I also do two other main things. I take two other supplements. I take six grams of fish oil a day and also take an herbal supplement called Inflame and Pain Relief. And I put links below this video if you're interested. However, if your goal is to just drink a little bit more water, just get started, right? Just one extra cup a day is a new habit which will improve your energy levels, your skin, your body, everything. And if you take medications, right, if you exercise, if you drink other beverages, and also if you're older, then you need to consume even more water. Now, as far as how much water you should drink, honestly, there's a lot of factors that come into play, age, if you exercise, and all these different things that I mentioned, but the standard eight to 10 cups of water is a good start in my opinion. Again, start to slowly increase your water consumption. If you do it all at once, right, you might end up peeing all day long and it's gonna get uncomfortable. So start slow, build up, and your body will adapt. Again, adding some minerals too to your diet, salt, potassium, and magnesium for better absorption and health, that's really important. Um, try to drink more of your water during the day and less in the afternoon, nighttime, so you don't have to wake up peeing in the middle of the night so much. Again, if you want additional anti-inflammatory support, again, fish oil is great and an herbal products such as Inflame and Pain Relief is fantastic and I've uh, put the links below this video. 
And in a future video, I'll also give you the best anti-inflammatory diet. So stay tuned for that if you're not already subscribed to this channel and click that notification icon. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I wish you a very happy and healthy day.